Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this product presentation. I want to show you the main experiments of the new Hydrogen Professional 2.0 experimenting system of Lexolar. As you can see here, I've already set up some components. You see here the new double cell electrolyzer, this uh, electrolyzer with the water reservoir for the H2 and the oxygen side. Um, for the first experiment I want to show you that we can produce hydrogen with solar power. Um, inside the experimenting system you find the solar cell and the lamp which I have already set up and now I will connect the solar cell with the double cell uh, electrolyzer, illuminate the solar module and now you can see that the hydrogen is already being produced. The double cell electrolyzer works at a minimum of 400 milliamperes. The uh, solar module is producing 400 milliamperes, so it takes some time for the reaction to start. But now we can see the gas bubbles of oxygen and hydrogen um, floating up and this uh, so indicates that there is a hydrogen and oxygen production. So this is a method of producing green hydrogen, producing the hydrogen only with solar power, with solar radiation and to speed things a little bit up and to investigate uh, the electrolyzing process I will now change my setup from the solar cell input to uh, input via main current As you can see here, if you are a Lexolar base unit and on the base unit we have a power module, we have a potentiometer module for regulating the resistance and we have an AB module to measure the voltage and the current. And yeah, with this setup I can now produce the hydrogen of controlled circumstances I will use 4.5 watts and regulate the potentiometer um, to produce the hydrogen much faster and I can now check onto the voltage and the ampere and can do um, a new eye chart of the electrolyzing process and can see when does the electrolysis starts and how much oxygen and how much hydrogen is really produced at um, which current, which voltage. Um, to show it to the camera you see much faster oxygen production and uh, hydrogen production and you see there's uh, double the amount of hydrogen than oxygen. So this is the uh, electrolyzing process and for now I will let continue the electrolyzing process a bit more for further experiments. Let's put this to the side. And um, yeah, let's continue with the fuel cell. How to set up the fuel cell stack is one of the experiments uh, in the kit. 
the fuel cell stack associated here consists of five single cells. The fuel cell stack can be completely taken apart. And this is something um, very interesting for the students. To see how this really works, can do take everything apart. I can investigate how does the fuel cell stack behaves if I only have three or four or, or five cells within my my stack. I can even investigate what does the single cell is capable of. So I can build and reboot the whole setup every time. And after every reboot of the stack, I need to check the fuel cell stack for uh, hydrogen leak. I can investigate this via the pressure inside my system um, to control the pressure inside the system, I have this manometer and I will now use an H2 um, storage module for hydrogen input. Um, H2 storage module can store up to 10 liters of hydrogen and um, yeah, as I connect it with my valve, you will hear hydrogen um, is stored inside the, the storage module. I will now seal my fuel cell with a hose and a hose clamp. So what I want to do now is I have here my fuel cell. Um, the fuel cell is connected with my manometer and with my H2 storage module. The fuel cell is closed in the back and now if I'm applying pressure to the fuel cell, my manometer shows me um, the pressure is constant inside my fuel cell system, so there's no H2 leaking and I can go on with my experiments. Um, if there would be a leak, um, the pressure would drop and I could see that the H2 storage module gets uh, I feel that the H2 storage module gets colder. I have a temperature sensor here, so you can see. You can see, we can feel the H2 storage module gets colder. And with my temperature sensor, I can show it to you. So this is something very important uh, within the industry. Always be aware of hydrogen leakage um, because this is obviously bad for the system. Okay, now um, that I have checked my, my system is good to go. We will check with the potentiometer and the, the AB module, um, how much power we can produce with our fuel cell stack. Um, so I will take back. So this is the electrolyzer again, you see in my little presentation there was uh, much hydrogen produced. 
And now I will take back my setup, rebuild it a bit. So now we want to investigate how does the power of the fuel cell work when I regulate the resistance. Now I take a new issue storage module. Yeah, we checked if there are no leakages in the system. Pressure is constant. I will flush the fuel cell for once. So there is now hydrogen inside the fuel cell stack. And I can now regulate and focus. And I can now uh, regulate with my potentiometer module how um, yeah, the voltage and the current are. And I can build up a voltage and current chart of the fuel cell um, current producing process. Thank you for your attention for now. These are the main experiments of the new Lexola Hydrogen Professional 2.0 experimenting system. And I hope you like my small presentation.